Hi guys! What is up, vloggy? We're here in our living room. We've never filmed with this background before, so comment down below if you guys like it. I think it looks pretty cute, don't you? Yeah, it's not bad. Okay, so should we just jump right in? Let's jump right in. Today we're gonna be talking about sunscreen and, oh, Shane wants it closer. <laughs> Okay, so today we're gonna to be talking about sunscreen specifically reef safe sunscreen and what kind of sunscreen you guys should use When you come to Hawaii, especially but you should just use Anywhere. it all the time Anywhere. And we'll talk about that why in a little bit because I've been getting so many DMS Like we both were really passionate about it kind of recently yeah. on our stories on Instagram So if you don't follow us follow us there, I'll put our names down below um and we were both getting so many DMs even though we were posting all the information on our stories. So we figured we'd make a YouTube video. That way when we get questions, we can be like, go watch this video. It has all of the answers to all of your questions. Everything you could ever need to know in one video. Okay, so we're gonna pop a picture up on the screen right now. Go ahead and screenshot it. These are all the chemicals that are bad, not good for the ocean. Go ahead and list them off. Okay, so in order from absolute worst to the safest, um, oxybenzone and octanoxate. <laughs> octanoxate. Okay, so oxybenzone and octanoxate are the worst. They're bad for your skin. They're really bad for the environment. So chemical companies have been selling these to skincare companies, and then the skincare companies have been advertising them as healthy, safe, and they're just not. It's like when smoking cigarettes was touted as being healthy, these skincare companies are doing the exact same thing with their chemicals. So that's why you have to believe us, not the propaganda put out by the skincare companies about these products. So those are the two worst ones. The next ones, which are not banned as often, but we still know them to be harmful to the reef, is homosalate and octocrylene. So yes. uh, each of these are chemicals which block the sun out, just like the other two that we listed, and they are bad for your skin. They seep into your skin, and then uh, something that my friend posted, we're gonna have to find like uh, articles to put, because I don't wanna just have a bunch of anecdotal evidence. I wanna have real evidence for you guys to do research with. Um, so they have found these chemicals in like the urine and uh, other bodily fluids of men and so it's like the chemicals stay in you forever and yeah. so it's really bad to be using these sunscreens um, for so many reasons um, and so what a lot of people are like well oh isn't it that sunscreen banned in Hawaii isn't it banned only one of those chemicals that we just talked about right. is banned here that's the first one oxybenzone uh, yep. and so all of the other companies that use all of those other chemicals in their sunscreen um, and there's one more that's not on that list, which is avobenzone, which yep. is also still not good for the reef. Yeah. Um, so the companies that use all of those chemicals, just not oxybenzone, can put a sticker on the front of the sunscreen bottle that says reef friendly or reef safe. I think most commonly it'll say reef friendly and it's not. That's like a big lie. It's just like all the food companies that put like, oh, it doesn't have whatever. I don't know an example of that right now. but. It's not reef safe, so do not go by the stupid sticker on the front of the sunscreen bottles. I promise you, you will buy the wrong one and you'll be sad because you thought you are buying the right one. So you have to, have to, have to flip over the sunscreen bottle and on the back, even online, when you're buying online, they always list the active ingredients. So that's what you wanna look at, active ingredients. And it'll have those chemicals right in the top. Like the active ingredients is only gonna be like four or five things. Sometimes only one or two. Right, if it's a good sunscreen, it'll only have one or two. Um, so yeah, you guys have to flip it over and look at the active ingredients. I promise the stickers, don't trust the stickers. Read the ingredients. So the last two on this list uh, that we put on the screen earlier is zinc oxide and titanium di dioxide. So these are both minerals as opposed to chemicals. That's why they're so easy to remember their names. That's, that's yeah, the Yeah, that's thing. why I can't say the, all the so, chemical names. And you names. don't even have to remember the oxide and dioxide because there aren't, like there's no zinc dioxide or titanium oxide that just isn't a thing. So literally all you have to remember is zinc and titanium. And then when you read it and it says zinc or titanium, you'll see uh, the oxygen represent representation there. And then you'll be like, oh yeah, that was the thing. Now I remember. And so just flip it over, look at the back, look at the ingredients. If it says only zinc oxide, titanium dioxide, then it's good. It can be one, both, 
one or the other. Um, but if it has one of those things and has one of the chemicals, it still, still has bad. the chemicals, yeah. so it's still bad. Yeah, a lot of companies will do that. Uh, so you really have to check because his mom was just visiting and she bought two bottles of sunscreen that were reef safe. And the same brand. A spray sunscreen, all the packaging looked exactly the same. Just the spray one had the bad stuff in it. Yeah. So you will literally have to look at the active ingredients, even if it's the same brand, same exact packaging, like, if it's a slightly different type of sunscreen, you have to read the ingredients. Yeah, and do you remember what happened? Uh, so Britt checked it and was like, oh, it's all good. And then I came out yeah, and went I to even check it. Up. And then she was like, oh, it's all good. You don't have to check it. <laughs> but she picked up the squirt bottle and I picked up the spray bottle. Yeah. And so when I looked at the spray, it was the chemicals. And it was so funny to see a company with the exact same packaging on two different sunscreens have completely different ingredients in them. Yeah. So another thing uh, we're talking about is mineral versus chemical sunscreen. And I don't know all the specific research on this. I will probably find some articles for you guys and link them down below. But I do know this because I did do research myself and I've read it online. It's just been a while, so I don't know all the facts like perfectly. But the chemical-based sunscreen is not good for your skin either. You're putting, I mean, and we do use a lot of chemicals because I, we try to be really clean and not use so many chemicals in our daily lives, but like, Everything has chemicals in it, like your makeup, I don't wear makeup, you a lot of deodorant, like probably a lot of shampoo and conditioner, but the chemicals in chemical-based sunscreen seep into your skin. And so all those chemicals, like Shane touched on this before, are staying inside of you and they can actually cause cancer. All those chemicals that you're trying to put in your body to protect yourself from the sun, to not get skin cancer, you can still get cancer from those chemicals. So even if you don't live near the reef and you don't think that you need to use reef safe sunscreen, you should because it'll eventually go to the ocean anyways and it's not good for your skin so the mineral sunscreen is called a physical barrier to the sun and it's just that's why some of them don't rub in as well um, because it sits on top of your skin it doesn't absorb into your skin and it blocks the sun that way and it actually works a lot better i think than the chemical based kind because you can see where it is you can see if you missed a spot it's it's like if you were literally rubbing mud on your skin it's yeah. just made prettier so like like pigs actually do this that's why they rub, rub right. around in the mud is to get the mud on themselves to protect themselves from the sun that's why the ones in the bahamas get so much skin cancer yeah because there's, no, there's mud there. no mud that's the that's the real problem is no mud um so yeah that and it's just so much better and it'll stay on you for a while you don't have to reapply which is really awesome although my mom was having you do. an issue if you, you rub the towel like if you rub your towel right. on your yeah, skin a lot you it's it. gonna come off because it's just on top of your skin so yeah it's so, so if you don't touch it you won't have to reapply yeah it's not like chemical sunscreen where every two hours you have to get out yeah and put it back on because it has seeped in and then gone into your bloodstream instead of being in your skin yeah um and so like my mom was having a hard time uh, taking it off, but if you if you're really having that hard of a time, just kind of scrub it, you know. Um, but it's not like it's going to cause any problems because it's just mineral sunscreen. Yeah, I mean it. It is a bit harder to get off. Usually, I just uh, know how much to put on, so I don't put it on like right towards the end of me being in the sun. That way, it's like not still on my skin. Um, but makeup remover, I know guys are like, I don't want to buy makeup remover, but makeup remover wipes um, should take it off pretty well. Like that's what I've used in the past when it's kind of stuck on. So we're just gonna show you guys some of the sunscreens that we use. This isn't an endorsement from any of them. We bought these. Did we buy all of them or? No, we got okay. sent some. So we got sent um, some and we were offered from a few other companies, but it's like, we already have a ton of sunscreen. We don't want to take more because we, we have don't a, want it. Okay, look, we got this huge box. It's all full of sunscreen. Yeah. Okay, it's not that huge, but it's full of sunscreen. It's pretty heavy. As and far we, as a box of sunscreen is concerned, it's pretty large. Don't use sunscreen all that much. And one more thing with mineral sunscreen, you have to use way less. Like. With uh, the chemical kind, you have to like put so much on your body. Like you can get like such a little bit, and it goes such a long way. Um, so the packaging is a lot smaller, I would say, than the chemical yeah, kind. Yeah, true. So my to one of my top brands is Raw Elements. Um, this one is says for baby and kids, but it they still have one that's. I mean, to me, it's the same thing. Um, this one is for your face and it's tinted so it's gonna be like tan and so for me it's like really nice to put it on because it's skin color and so that way if it does leave a white it's not gonna leave a white cast have you had that same one like the whole time I've known you uh, no I have another one oh, okay um, so yeah this brand is raw elements and they're both SPF 30 I believe I really like them yeah Shane likes them a lot and they only the 
active ingredients are on the back. It's so tiny. I'm not going to show you on this one, um, but it only has zinc oxide in it. And they also don't use plastic packaging. All their packaging is in like these tins. So that's really great because no plastic. Um, and then this brand is, I think, really good because it's a little bit bigger. I bought it from my parents who are here. Um, you can get it at like Sephora and Ulta, I'm pretty sure. I just got it on Amazon. Um, but it's the brand Kula and it's their mineral body sunscreen. Um, they probably make sunscreen that's not reef safe. They do so make non-reef safe sunscreen. Um, it smells really good and it rubs in super well. This one's rubs in like really well. So if you don't like the smell of cer certain mineral sunscreens, this one smells really nice. It doesn't have chemicals in it. Um, and it only has zinc oxide in it as well. You can see the active ingredients. It's literally one thing. Uh, and my dad even, they don't, they live in Delaware and my, by the beach there, my dad texted me like, what was that sunscreen you guys that you got? I want to get it. So like he really liked it and he thought it worked really well and they don't live near the reef at all. And they're going to start using this kind, which makes me super, super happy because they were using probably the worst, smelliest, chemicaliest yeah. sunscreen ever. So that's really cool that I could get them to convert and that they like this one. Shane's mom, I don't know if she didn't use it, but she didn't talk about liking it as much as like my parents did. So. I'm not so there was something going on wrong she with like, my mom. She didn't want to use it we like she we have all this sunscreen and she didn't want to use it. And then she went and bought some. I was like we literally She probably thinks that we need it. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so then another brand that is the one that sent us all this stuff um is called Stream to See. And here are some of their sunscreens. Um, I used to work on a boat and we provided sunscreen to the guests in case they didn't have reef safe sunscreen. And we had a giant bottle of this stuff that, um, that they would use. So I've been liking this sunscreen for a while. And also this one only has zinc oxide in it. The current one that I'm using that's in my little, I keep this little baggie in my bag that I bring with me everywhere with like three sunscreens in it is this one, it's the shimmer one. So it has like little biodegradable shimmers in it. I don't really know how it works, but it's reef safe and it's so cool. It's all sparkly when you put it on, it's really cool. I put it on and I was like, am I sparkly? And he was like, yeah, very. They're probably uh, pyrite particles. I should I should look for it on off of camera, but um, yeah, but it's, uh, anyways. Yeah, so they also make like, um, theirs are all SPF, 45 so that's even better if you're worried about that they make a tinted one that's like gonna be tan color and then also just a white one so if you're more pale probably use the white one um and then i have a bunch of face sticks from them too even one that's pink shane's mom was using it on her lips <laughs> <laughs> um i got more raw elements stacked up in here because it's my favorite and then just another sport sunscreen from them so yeah we are stocked up on our reef safe sunscreen here because if anyone comes to visit us and they are whipping out the non-reef safe stuff, we are not down with that. So, so I would say the question that we got the most, we've already answered in this video, but just in case somehow you missed it, uh, cause it seemed like people were missing it in our DMS is, uh, is this sunscreen reef safe? Yeah. I was so, that so too. now you have been armed to be able to look for yourself. Is this sunscreen reef safe? You can turn around and ask yourself and you'll be able to know. I'm gonna put a graphic up here on the screen with just some brands, that, like a one that I found that has some of the brands that are reef safe, but there's a ton, okay? So you have to look at the active ingredients on the back. I can't tell you if every single sunscreen is reef safe or not. That's why we're giving you the information so you can do it yourself. These are just the ones that we have and that we're using currently and so yeah, there's tons more brands, not just these. So I don't know how, how often we got this question, but then one time Brittany was trying to educate someone about how they should be using reef safe sunscreen and something that they should care about. And they were like, I live in North Carolina. I don't have a reef here. And uh, it's like anything in the ocean can be harmed by these chemicals. And then also your body can be harmed by these chemicals. And I'm sure that there are reefs in the Atlantic Ocean somewhere. It's just not like tropical coral reef, like right offshore the way that we have here. So if you think that you live somewhere where you don't impact the ocean, I promise you, you impact the ocean, the ocean impacts you. You just are so far away from it that you feel like you don't, but you definitely do. Um, and if you have sunscreen that you want to use up that is not reef safe, if you're watching this video and you're like, oh crap, I have this. 
I would use it when you're going to the pool on a hike out in your garden if you want to use it up. If you don't want to be wasteful because I'm not going to encourage being wasteful if you already bought it, right? So if you already have it, it's already in your possession, you already spent your money on it, use it up when you're not going in the ocean or going swimming um, and then don't buy it anymore after that. Personally, I disagree with it. I feel like it's yeah, like if you, you are quitting cigarettes and then you're like, well, don't waste the last pack. I gotta but smoke people, these I've up. But people, I've gotten that question before. Like, what do I yeah. do if I already bought it? So yeah, I, that's like up to you preference. But take it to a chemical waste area. Yeah, I, personally, I would throw it away. I wouldn't use it, but I'm yeah. just saying I know a lot of people don't want to waste money and stuff because yeah, sunscreen and, can be expensive. And to be fair, if you're going to throw it away, it's going to end up in a landfill. The plastic bottle that it's in is going to crack open. It will eventually seep saying. out. So it'll it's end so up good. in the ocean anyways. But the biggest thing is to stop buying it because yeah. then you stop supporting these companies which are making chemicals which are harming the ocean. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I want to talk about one more thing. Go ahead. So what really started this conversation, like I've always been passionate about it, but then uh, I'm gonna kind of put someone on blast right now. Uh, not who you think. It, Alana Blanchard came out with the sunscreen line and she's from Kauai, uh, which is one of the islands here in Hawaii. She grew up here her entire life and she came out with a sunscreen brand, company, whatever, called Pursuit Beauty and it's not reef safe. And I'm like so disappointed in her. Like why would she put her name on that as a pro surfer, as someone who's in the ocean all the time, I just don't get it and she must know I don't I just don't understand and she's vegan and so in organic things and all this stuff and then she comes out with a sunscreen line blast full of chemicals and I'm just like and their response when I said something to want them on one of their reels is oh it complies with Hawaii's guidelines for being reef safe which is literally one chemical out of all it's so frustrating it's like I just don't get it I am like I really like her and I don't like her as much now. I like lost a lot of respect for her. Um, so yeah, super big bummer. So watch out for influencers uh, promoting things and trying to tell you guys that it's reef safe when it's not. Yeah, so now you guys know how to look for the truth so that you don't get sold something uh, that is not actually uh, helpful to the reef. So hopefully you guys feel more inclined to buy reef safe sunscreen and care a little bit more. Um, it's such a small change that can have such a big impact if everyone did it. It's not anything crazy you have to do. Like you're going to buy sunscreen anyway, just buy a different one that is better for the ocean. Uh, they're pretty much the same price. Like when I worked in a surf shop, they were maybe $1 more than the not reef safe ones. So it's not a crazy price difference. So go out there and do something to help the oceans. Okay, and I think that's all we have to say. If we missed anything, feel free to comment down below your questions and I will answer them. Yeah, and just please don't ask, is this brand <laughs> reef safe? Like after watching this video, you are not allowed to ask that question. That's the one thing you can't ask here. Um, but yeah, so thanks guys for watching. If you wanna see more videos of us like talking about ways, like you know, sitting down and talking about ways that you can help clean the ocean, uh, leave a comment that you enjoyed this one or just smash like, we'll get the picture if this video does well. Um, Cause we wanna do more of it, but we don't wanna you know, be here trying to do this and then nobody's watching it. So uh, if it does well, we'll keep doing it like this. If it doesn't do well, we'll figure out a new way to try to educate you guys about this kind of thing. Cause we just wanna reach a lot of people and we wanna help lots of people do better things for the ocean. So thanks for watching guys. We'll see you guys next time. And that's all the stuff, stuff we, we saw. saw. Bye. Bye. Bye.